Hey guys, it's Steph from Daz, and today I'm going to walk you through how to utilize our exciting new product, the Daz to Cinema 4D Bridge. In this tutorial, we're going to talk about one, how to bring a character to Daz Studio, two, opening up the Daz to Cinema 4D Bridge, and three, how to port your Daz content into Cinema 4D to keep creating. First thing I did was bring a character into the scene. I did this by going to the Smart Content tab in the left-hand corner, clicking Figures, and then double-clicking on Sahara 8. Then I added the Sabriel outfit for Genesis 8 female. Now I'm going to add some hair, and I'm going to select the high C's hair for Genesis 8. And then I'm going to leverage the sliders in the tab on the bottom right hand side to quickly change her expression. Now let's port this character over to Cinema 4D. Make sure Sahira is selected in the top right corner of your scene tab. Then go to the top navigation bar, click Scripts, and then select Daz to Cinema 4D. The file will automatically begin the conversion process. Now open Cinema 4D. To finish the conversion process, go up to Extensions. If the DAS to C4D was installed properly, you will see it in the bottom of the drop-down menu. Click it. Then when the DAS to C4D loading screen opens, click Auto Import. After it processes, you will see your character has automatically been put into Cinema 4D. Now you can continue to finalize your creation. The textures will automatically be saved to a temp folder, but you'll want to save them wherever you see fit. So, click Save with Textures and customize the name and location. It will automatically save all the paths. At the bottom of your scene, you'll see all of the textures loading. When all of the images are there, that means all the files will be in the location you previously designated. Perfect! Everything is loaded. The textures are in basic C4D. You can work like this, but I'm actually going to convert the materials. The bridges allow you to convert them to V-Ray, Redshift, or Octane. I'm going to select Redshift. If the skin needs adjusting, you can use the global skin parameters, but I'm going to leave it how it is for now. I'm going to click Convert, and a warning will come up telling you this action cannot be undone. If you haven't saved your scene yet, please do so before converting. I'm going to click Yes, and it will convert everything over to Redshift. Don't worry, if it goes gray right away, it's okay. It will adjust as the materials are converted. If you want to animate within C4D, you won't want to use the node-based rig from Daz, but rather you'll want to click Auto IK. After it's processed, you will have a rig and can keep creating. Thanks for listening.